Hey guys, Bob Black, Bob on Bass. Thanks for joining me today on my channel. Today I do a little bit of a review on my Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Bass. Stick around. Okay, so the bass that you heard on the intro wasn't this one. It was a P bass I was playing. But this bass is a bass that I use most often in a live situation and there's several reasons for that which we'll get into first of all we'll just go over it this bass was made in 2017 and this is the one that was this was a year before they came out with the new stingray special that they have now this one has just a 12 volt um, one battery 12 volt system it does have a six bolt neck nowadays they they're down to a five um and supposedly well the new ones have lightweight tuners and bridge and so forth but actually this particular one is eight and a half pounds yeah which is less than the new ones weigh for the most part you know I, i've tried a couple out in music stores i i have to say i do like the um the new roasted necks that they have uh, roasted necks are really stable and give you a nice sound. But um, the ones that I tried uh, were heavier than this one. This was eight and a half pounds. One of the reasons why I had to have it. Okay, This bass, the neck is, is similar to a P bass neck. Okay, it's, it, I would say this is a, a D-shaped neck. It's wide, you know, like a modern P bass. Um, Nice bridge, nice heavy bridge, uh, 21 frets. Uh, these are nickel frets. The new ones on the Stingray Special, I know now they make steel. They use steel frets. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll tell you exactly what I like and what I don't like about it, as always. I always like to do that because um, I'm not affiliated with any company, and I like to give you an honest opinion on, on my feelings. One of the reasons that I love to use this bass in live situations is that it, it cuts through the mix. It really does. And you can dial in very quickly um, in, in a live situation when you're up there playing. Um, you know, if you need a little more mid-range, boom, it's right there. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're setting up to play in a club, or it could be an, an arena type thing, um, you get the bass will resonate with the, the walls and the room and uh, sometimes you get a boomy sound. Well with this you can you can lower that bass, dial in some low mid, no, no problem at all. You can get rid of that very very quickly um, and, and still have a good bass sound. I really like the sound of this live. Now the sound that I like is different than what most people like. What I really hate and what uh, one of the reasons why people like to use these basses is that very brittle high end I don't like that sound at all um, luckily it's very easy to de to dial out with this I just I cut back the treble I do use a little bit of treble a little mid-range and full on the bass and uh, let's plug it in and I'll give you a, uh, an idea of what it sounds like here now keep in mind that I'm, I'm just coming through this uh, speaker system here, the uh, Mark Bass uh, Ninja. I'm not going into any kind of uh, box or anything into the computer. This is just directly into the camera. So keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this is the sound that I use for most everything. Rock, jazz, funk. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much the sound I use. Now, it, let's take a listen to it with everything flat. 
So I'm gonna back off the base, uh, mid-range, flat, uh, treble, uh, you know, uh, uh, flat, straight up. And this is the sound. So now for me, that's a bit harsh for my liking, okay? And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's way too brittle sounding for me. So I back off the, uh, back off the treble, back off the mid-range bass full. I guess the sound that I'm really going for is kind of like, I would say maybe a P bay with a, P, P bass with a punch. Yeah, that's the sound. P bass, but with a little bit more attack, a little more punch to it. Right? Not to say that I don't love playing the P bass, I do that too. I love the, playing the jazz bass as well. But this, on a live gig, man, this thing, you, you can't beat it. You can't beat it, especially if you can get one that's not too heavy. I know that, you know, I had one back in the 70s and that thing was a real boat anchor. Um, my shoulder was really sore after uh, double, uh, two double header gigs. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's my review of the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray. Um, I really like this and, uh, you know, um, I have played the new ones, the Stingray Special, briefly in, in some music shops and checked it out. Um, I didn't find, it, uh, they were all heavier than this, even though the new ones are supposed to be lightweight. But anyway. That's my review. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you can pick one of these up now, I know you can get these. This is a 2017. You could probably get one of these for about, I think, $1,200. Uh, you could probably find a reverb. I paid, uh, I paid $1,800 for this in, in 2017. But anyway, um, yeah, and if you buy it on reverb or, or some place like that, a lot of them will tell you the weight. You don't want to get a 12-pounder. Trust me on that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Please hit like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys when you when you give me a thumbs up and uh, and and subscribe to my channel. I can come out with more videos, more instrument reviews or uh, tutorials and so forth. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Have a great day.